He drank so, alcohol tonight. Oh, that's a lie. <laughs> Here's our BJ! Hey, as if... So that's our little bird! Oh, my boy! Cheers! Hey! Hi, Dave! Hi, Dave! Hello everyone, this is Asif video. Only wish interesting car on Asif Rai. It's here at resort and event. And there are all the leaders of like the F&B manager, the bartender, and like front desk officer, the resort manager, all the executive chefs. So I'll ask them how they became success in their like hospital industry. So they'll give you the suggestions. So be with the video. And one more thing. 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 One he drank alcohol tonight. Oh, that's a lie. He's he's one of the Stop best recording. person Stop here, recording. but he's lying now. I mean, first is actually resort gym manager, and he's one of the coolest guy I've ever seen. So he'll let us know like how he became success in this industry. So be with me. So Carlos, you're the best general manager I ever seen in my life. So I'll ask you one question for the young generation for being the best, being the best in hospitality. What's the suggestion you just want to give the young generation? Uh, thank you, I see uh, very much. Uh, I think what's important is that uh, you know you, you follow your dream, uh, but above, above all, you, you you truly have to have a genuine desire to yeah. please people. Uh, I think if, if you do have that, uh, pursue your dreams. Yeah. Hospitality is a great career. Uh, it's been fantastic for me and my family, and uh, I I can't think of doing anything else in my life. So do do you ever regret yourself being in hospital? You always be proud. No, you know what? No regrets. I went to school for accounting and business administration. Uh, I didn't really know what path I wanted to take, uh, and, and uh, I couldn't see myself working a nine-to-five job. Unfortunately, uh, you know, hospitality industry uh, it is so uh, it, it's 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 unbelievable. Like it, it, you know, it's very self-rewarding, uh, and you know, you you meet different people with different needs all the time. No, no day is ever the same. So it's yeah. it's it's absolutely phenomenal. So I'm from Bangladesh, you know, right? Yes. So fantastic. What's the, do you know any Bangladeshi food? Do you wanna spell some name? I uh, Bangladeshi. Yeah. Any food from our region? I you can't know? say I do. No, unfortunately. Do you know jalebi? I don't. Jalebi. I Your don't. wife knows. She was telling she me. Does. Yeah, she, she does. She wants to make. She wants to make for me. Thank you so much, she, Charlie. She loves all kinds of uh, food from Bangladesh okay. and right. India. Actually, India is her favorite cuisine. Okay. She absolutely loves it. Thank, thank you. So thank, thank you so much. much. Thank you for being in that video. My pleasure. Have a good day. So, you guys know where I'm from, right? Yes. yes. You told me, but I can't remember. Okay. Thanks. Okay. If okay. anyone can spell Bangladesh, okay. I'll give him a prize. Okay, you first. Sorry, say that again. Bangladesh. Oh man, Bangladesh. I have my hand up. <laughs> Is there a G in it? Can you give me a hint? Yes. No. Of course it's a No. Bangladesh. B-A-N-G-L-A-N-G. You're done. Alright. <laughs> okay, no, you're done. You were really close. I was close. I got pretty far. B-A-N-G. Almost there, but you oh can't. Oh my god, it was a <laughs> Now you. Oh no, that's what I was going to say. Oh, that's the last line. B-A-N-G-L-E. A. A. D. Okay. Nice. Antonio told so you guys are dead. I won! I won! I'm the winner. All right. So, unfortunately, they're the losers. <laughs> With me, he's a master chef. He taught me a lot, so he'll tell me and he'll tell you guys how to be a best chef. So, chef, what's the motivation for you? And you want to give to the young generation? Yeah, passion. You have, you have to have passion. Okay. That's the passion for what you do. You know, I feel like you want to wake up every morning. Right. This is what you want to do. You know, that's the passion. You need that passion. So. That's the key. Number one. And, yeah, okay, that's number key. one. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because like any other job, if you if you don't like it, you don't feel like growing up to do okay. it. You know, but yeah, you have to have the passion. If 
passion is what makes you get up first every morning to go and, and do what you do. Alright? Yeah. So that's basically what I have to tell you. One more question, Chef. So when we start the career of Chef, we think about money. Do you think we, we can be rich by being a chef? The young generation wants to know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to be a chef, you you, you should be in the big hotels, the big resorts, you know, the the, the, the world is the world, the Sheraton's of the world, the uh, the Royal Yorks of the world, you know, the big big hotels. Yeah. The chefs they they make about two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. Uh, you want to be a chef controlling a whole bunch of assets. One more question. You know, I'm from Bangladesh. So, name one dish from Bangladesh which you love the most. Oh, uh, I like uh, the chicken korma. Oh wow, chicken chef knows chicken korma, guys. Chef knows chicken korma. Uh, I love biryani too. I like oh, biryani. Oh, you love biryani too. I love biryani too. Love biryani too. All right. Um, Sarah also loves biryani. I love it. All right. So we should be proud, guys, for as a Bangladeshi. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, people are being so nice to me and whatever I'm asking, they're like, wow, as if, what are you asking? They're a little nervous when I start the vlogging, but they're really, really, really nice with the camera. So guys, be with the video. Let's see what happened next. And she's one of the best bartender I ever seen. Like everyone is best for me, you know? So Lee, what's the motto for being a best bartender? Best bartender? What's the what? What's the... Like, what's your motto? Like, how, how, how are you being a fan? Uh, stories. Okay. And love. Ooh, stories and love. So focus on lean. No, focus on stories and love. Thank you guys. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> Ram! Bye bye! So, my man, my man. Just every single thing of a resort, he's the guy we call. He knows every single part of the resort. He knows everything. So, Graham, what's the secret? How did you learn all those electronics things, like everything else, and the ground things, uh, like back behind the kitchen thing, like the in front of houses? How how did you learn lots of things? Like, what's the value? Like, when you're learning those things, what's the value? Of that? You know, it, it it goes way back to my grandpappy. My grandpappy had had a lot of a lot of knowledge. He's been. Places, a lot of gross places, and my grandpappy liked to say, you know, you just gotta get to getting, you gotta fix the fixings, and make sure that the shit. Yeah, that's cool. The, the shit's cool. the shit. Anyway, I just want to say one thing: try, try your hardest, okay? and be yourself. Try hardest and be yourself. That's the motto. Thank you, man. Now, I'll take an interview with the f &B manager and like he's one of the coolest guy I've ever seen like he's young and energetic let's see how he reacts I got one of the youngest f &B manager I'll say in my life I've never oh, yeah. seen that kind of like youngest so he's super talented, super energetic, super also good green. Green. See, they all are cheering, they all are cheering so what's the success motto buddy? So, success motto, uh, work hard, play hard, uh, learn as much as you can, and be this guy's friend, and everything just happens, it falls in a place. That's good, yeah. come on. Easy to save you, you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> thank you. Buy my space, love you. So, Camille, yes. you're being a teacher, a bartender, a server, so you do all those. So how, how, how do you manage your time? How do you learn everything and how do you do every work? How do I do everything? I think I take each day as it comes yeah. and I will go to school throughout the day and then as soon as I'm done my day of school I come to work and I put on a smile for our customers and give the service that I would want to have. So when you have a bad day what do you do? The young generations are yes. watching this video. So what's your suggestion for them? One thing you want to say. One thing. Stay true to yourself. Stay oh, true to yourself. All right. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do something. Okay. So <laughs> she's saying just focus what you want to do. All right? Yes. Thank you so much, Cameron. You're welcome. See you. Love ya. <laughs> this is Barb. I have some questions for you. May I? Yes. So 
you doing the house? You running the house? Can I go again? Did you what? So you're running the housekeeping department for like 20 years, 15 years, how many years? 14. 14? Okay, she's running a housekeeping department for 14 years. So what you want to tell the young generation for being a best manager like you? Be faithful, um, be um, good to your staff. Be faithful, be good to your staff. That's the motto, right? Thank you so much, Barb. We love you. You're the best. So how are you, Mark? I'm excellent. Super! So he's Super! Super! Like yeah. Alright, so Mark, I have a small question. Sure. You're an event manager, right? Right. So as an event manager, how you are being the best? Like, how you manage everybody? Like, how? How you think? Well, with the events and stuff like that, like I take care of like a lot of the weddings, yeah. right? So with myself, mm -hmm. I guess the best way is I treat everyone okay. that comes in mm -hmm. the way they want it. Uh, it's a personal touch, right? Some places are very cookie cutter and they just want section A, B, C this way. My clients, they love that I go that extra mile. All right. And, and that, you know, I make it a personal thing with them. I, this is their palette, mm -hmm. and I try and make their special day the best that I can for them. Okay, that's cool. One thing, you know where I'm from? Yeah. What? You? You're from Mexico. Oh! Bangladesh! Ah! <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. I was scared, man. I was scared. All right. I'm the Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know any Bangladeshi food? that you want to try in my home bag? Well, I love my curry. Oh, all the curry? All the curry, all, all the curry, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, he loves all the curry. I love all the curry, yeah, yeah. And one more thing, so apart from Bangladesh, so yeah. for the young generation, what's the only word you want to give it to them? Like, you just follow this, you'll be successful in the hotel industry. Manners. Okay. Respect. Um, hard work. Okay. Be the hardest working person in the room at all times. I ask one word, you see, he gave me four. So yeah. confusing, man. I'm going. <laughs> Thank yeah, you so right. much. All right, buddy. Let's keep the drugs. Right. Thank you. Okay. So, there's Haika, the chef is with me, so she'll tell us the motive why she became a chef. So, what's your motive? Why you become a chef? Why you love cooking? Oh my gosh. What inspires me is other people who enjoy cooking. Right. So, when just being with other chefs, okay. it just, I get excited and I just want to learn more. That's the thing, that's the thing, just remember. You have to learn more all the time, whatever you know, the chef told. So one more thing. So you know me as Bangladesh, right? Yes. I'm from Bangladesh. So what's your thought about the Bangladeshi people? Because you never meet I believe, but what you thought and how you feel like how the Bangladeshi people We don't is. have enough of your culture okay. food. Right. Which I think in the restaurants we yeah. need more of the type of food you have because oh. I enjoy everything you cook oh. and I just wish we would have more options All like right. that. She only loves our food, that's it. Thank you so much, Heka. It's been very nice. Oh. So guys, this is Ken and he's the leader of the front desk. He's the like, in front of like, you know, everything of our resort. He'll let you know be doing right. how to be a best, best, best front of manager. So, what's the motto for the young generation? What's the motto? Yeah, like, how, how did you like being the best? Being the best? I think yeah. you just have to be passionate about, uh, you know, customer service, you know? Understanding that, you know, uh, we're selling experiences okay. uh, and just, you know, making sure that, you know, we're just, we're delivering on those promises. People are wanting, they're wanting the value for their dollar and, right. and by, you know, making sure that you enjoy coming into work every day and giving that, showing that, the guests that you love. Like, we work in a beautiful place. We're lucky to be able to work in such a beautiful place. They're lucky to be able to come and spend their time here. So, you know, reflecting that, that you know, you love the place as much as they love coming to as the front desk manager, you face a thousand of problems, you know, every day. So, how did you handle it? You know, you just have to understand that uh, it, it, it's important for the guests to feel like they're getting their value for their money. So, when, when they don't, they're going to be vocal about it. And as frustrating as that can be, you want to you wanna tell them that, uh, you know, their, their voice is important and that, you know, their, their money, their hard earned money is. You understand that, like it's, it, you know, they they chose to spend it here, so you want to make sure that you know you listen, you set, uh, empathize, and then you know you respond in, in a way that says we want your business and we want you to be happy, and you know we want to do better, and we can do better, and, and 
I mean, you know, we all work very hard and try our very best. Sometimes it's not always going to go right. You can't always make every guest happy. But you want to do your very best to try and, and make them under, uh, you know, happy with, with the fact that they chose to stay with you. So, you know, at the end of the day, you just want to say, you know, what can I do to make it happy and, and, and do that for them. And then hopefully, you know, they come back and they tell their friends, you know what? There may have been something, a problem that happened while, they, while I was there, but they fixed it. And I respect yeah. that. And now I'm going to go back because they earned my business. So it's just about earning your, your business. So much, oh, thank you. Yeah. Right. The guys, the word he said, remember, happy. You have to make your guests happy. So thank you, Ken. Thank and you, you got to be happy yourself. Oh, yeah. Thank, well, thank you so much, Antonio, for being in the camera. Antonio, on a Croatia, poor video to Coral Journal, back in the time One more thing, guys. The only word I learned today, hard work. So you have to work hard for being successful in this hotel industry. So ask your video in the next video, guys. Goodbye, Tata.